Hey, how's everybody doing today? I want to talk a little bit about weather, climate, okay? Uh, today we have a uh, north wind blowing, okay? And what does a north wind do to your animals, you know, when it's blowing? And it's a dry north wind, okay? What the wind does, it draws the moisture uh, from your animal, the moisture inside your animal, okay? That's what a... A front does to your animal if it's a dry front your animal starts to dry up because the wind is sucking all the moisture out of the environment as well as the internal moisture of your animal okay and how do you how do you see uh, if your uh, animal is too dry well through the plumage you know through the plumage you can see that uh, he's dry you know his hackle feathers will come to a an end and they'll split open, meaning that the body moisture is too dry inside the animal, okay? And when you have a dry rooster and you you put him to show against another one when he's dry, oh, he'll take a lot of cutting if he's not hitting the right places and he'll fight strong. But he will not cut accurate because he is too tight. And when he's too tight because his moisture content is not the right amount for him to be able to reach and and cut accurately, it restricts the cutting ability. So, you know, a north wind, for all the beginners, remember, okay, when a north wind is blowing, remember, during the day of the derby, you have to make sure that he has moisture in his body and how do you give him moisture well that would be through feeding him egg whites you know or boiled rice at the same time you're keeping his gizzard going so that the rooster will not go over point on you and at the same time you're adding moisture to his body because the wind is drawing the moisture out of his body so it's real important to uh, regulate the body for moisture and that is through the feather or even through the droppings of your animal so moisture control plays a big part on how your rooster will cut effectively during the northern okay beginners this is just something I wanted to share with you you know I try to teach uh, the best I can uh, when it comes to getting your animal ready for a feeding method or a keep you know some people don't believe in keeps uh some people call them feeding methods but you know that's just the way i've always been taught that when you put an animal uh through a conditioning period or a feeding method it is something that is condensed together forming a keep okay a keep can also be year-round care okay meaning you can keep that animal healthy year-round so don't be misled by what a keep year round is and what a keep during the actual feeding method to get an animal ready for battle is. Thank you all.